boys, let's play some Kane Gaming. Wait, Dot Todd. I remember this guy. He used to be a uh, he used to troll I'm a cutie pie and and what do we call it? I'm a cutie pie. I will dominate. Shifter back in like season six. I remember this Dot Dot guy. He was like a notorious Ailo troll back in the day. Mondo Wayne. Okay, yeah. I know. I shall change the song. It's informative tuber time. You know what that means. Time to farm an informative tuber. All right, let's get it, boys. I'm probably gonna start Raptors this game and just maybe look for go and look for an early gank in top. The likelihood of that Trinomir shoving in early is not, not terribly low. I could look for like an early reset just in case Warwick did want to invade my bot side. I heavily doubt he would invade my bot side whatsoever, but there's always that thought in the back of your mind that, hey, maybe they might invade you. And if you're going to get invaded, the best thing you can do is Raptors, Red Krugs, reset and get your bot side. So if you're ever worried about getting invaded, I'd recommend that clear. Reason why would be simply because whenever you do Raptors, Red Krugs, you're going to have your red buff, which gives you that extra strength. You're going to get a long sword, and if you even want, you can get a bot. Most importantly, you're going to be full HP, so anyone that invades your bot side, you'd be able to catch them out and fight them. Just a little food for thought there. This game's either going to be a red or blue, depending on what form I get first, which is what I really love about this meta right now. And with this new red build I've been running, the ultimate red cane build, which you guys will you'll see all about it tomorrow. I'm going to have a little Twitter post about it. I'm going to have a little YouTube video about it. My ultimate red build is something I've been cooking up for a good while now, so I'd be really excited if I get to showcase that. I definitely am going to get some games of it today, so if not now, then definitely later. This doesn't look too gankable for me because Trinomir is full HP, not of trading. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't see why Gragas would want to trade this lane that much. Because at most we get like Trinomir's Ghost, maybe Flash, maybe Flash, but I think there's uh, definitely more of a play to be found in bot mid. Bot slash mid. I'm gonna go straight to my blue here first, just in fear of invade. Oh, there he is. I see, look. There's the invade. Oh. Wow. Armor rotated first there. That's pretty problematic. Hmm. I'm gonna go try and get my camps. That's all good. So normally in a scenario where we're supposed to be able to like defend this and fight this, I'm actually getting rotated on by Lucian Karma, which should be far, far inferior to, um, what am I call it? Camille Tristana for the early skirmishes. Looks like I'm gonna be able to get a kill here though, which is fine. That salvages the play a little bit. Maybe I could, uh, eh, we get a flash from Karma. I don't think, she, you know, did she use flash? I might have honestly. Seeing as she didn't use it there, that works out. Nice, it's good. Yeah, see that's the thing about jungle is you kind of just got to learn to take what you get. And even though I didn't really want to take that, kind of just had to accept it. And at the end of the day, I mean, it's not the end of the world whenever you lose something like that. So Quark's gonna look for the, uh, gonna look for the, uh, oh wow. I am just trolling. He flash queued me. I should have flashed earlier. That's my fault. I forgot about that mechanic. It's okay though. It's gonna look for top skittle. I actually thought he was just gonna spawn and go straight to top skittle, but he went through his raptors. I don't even think he was going to the raptors. I think he was just running after trying to fight me. That's a little bit problematic, but all good. He'd still win. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna run straight to his bot side, or mid, I guess. Mix it. I catch mid, yes. It's 
like he's just looking for my bot side. Which means I can go to his top side here. Hopefully if I shove this wave and I don't get rotated on and collapsed by Ezreal. Okay, that dies. Nice. And I might be able to get the grubs afterwards here. Definitely gonna be a Huber's rush the game this one, whether I get blue or red form. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, he's on Dragon right now. I'm gonna ping that out. You can tell because their bot lane's missing and he's just hovering that bot side. Dragon and my bot side camps is probably as high okay, as Cryo. So he might just be on my bot side. Ironically he could be reset game. looking for me. 11 months, let's go. How have you been? Hey, what's up, Kibitzer? I've been good. How you doing? Hmm. Yeah. A little bit wary of what he might or may not be doing. Might just be running straight to me. She's done before. I have no idea. This guy actually doesn't have ult. A lot of what people like fear and face is like against a Tridomir whenever they don't have ult. They're like, oh no, he's gonna ult me. But I mean, this guy can't really ult me or do anything. They don't really have the abilities to like stay on top of this guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just getting the grub is not a bad idea. You got the kill on zone though, that's good. This guy's probably gonna get sent. I don't really have any more damage. He's at the point where he definitely heals more than my auto steal. It's the problematic point of time. I need Camille to come here. Ah, that's sad. Oh, nice. Got the kill though. That's worth for the orbs, I guess. Gotta shut down too. Didn't go on me, but maybe Camille can make some work of it. So worth to trade that because I got orbs and get a shutdown. I would have preferred to get the kill, but I guess there's just no way to kill that guy in that quick amount of time. I actually did get all my camp. Alright, let me get my two other top set camps. the top play is not a bad idea, but the question is, does he even need me for the top play? I don't think he does. Mm, I just gets away, I think. Oh, maybe not. Nice. I could have got form off that. They should let me get that kill. Okay though. My W would have got it. But I missed it. It was free regardless though. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So this is definitely gonna be a Lethali red game, by the way. That's fine, I don't mind it, because the main threat is actually Warwick. So another thing that I kinda like to think about whenever I go whatever form I want first, but with this new uh, runes builds and setup, is really the idea behind, you know. If their melees are more ahead, maybe red's a little better, or if their range are more ahead, maybe blue's better. Like if Lucian was the one who was like 7 and 2, I would think, hey, you know, this wouldn't be a bad game for blue. But because they're Warwick, you know, I think that same exact ideology, but I just think about it for you know, their melee champs. It's Warwick, so I'm gonna go red. Should be able to count that. It's a biff, babe, that's gone. Ooh. Damn, I actually got hit by that. My bad. If this bot gank goes on for too long, I actually could get blue for him, even though I have way more red orbs right now. Sidestep. I think I just had to reset there. There wasn't really a play I was finding. After you clear vision, it's very hard to like find a play at that same exact spot. So for this new build that I really love, I love to go like... What's it called? Hubris? into usually the axiomark second 
then I would get Grudge and then Shoujin. Shoujin's really the uh, hidden OP in this build, I would say. Would have only got half the wave if he TP'd in. I don't really think that'd be as worth. Rather save your TP. Gragas is dead. Works turbo speed. Nice. Yeah, I just went inside of him so he can auto me and heal. Or fear me. Okay. He just trolled me that entire wave. All good. Alright, let's get Axiom. How have games been? I've been lurking. We did a bunch for breezing. How you doing? Lurking, huh? The lurkster you are. And your big little brain. Big, like really smart, but it's tiny because you're tiny. In comparison to someone who's huge like me, with a small brain. Nice, dude, my Greg is this game in this one, holy. It's popping off. And they're three man the grubs right now, by the way. I'm gonna just start it, but they are gonna try and kill the Gragas, I believe. Uh, I don't really have much to do for him, so maybe I just wait for him to uh, survive. Because I don't have my ult, otherwise I'd love to fight it. I know he wants me to turn it too, but I yeah, know ult is very problematic, I'd say. You just walk out right now. Just full walkout potential. That's fine. We got we got two grubs. I guess lived and I got to the grubs, so. How about the six is nice. No ulti equals no fighty, basically. Stack armor. Yeah, we could definitely stack armor. By stack armor, I mean I'm just gonna get plated. I could maybe get Death Stand 6 items. 6 items is very free with this build, by the way. The main 4 items that you're going to be getting, though, is Hubris, Axiom, Grudge, and then Shoujin. That's very, very important for this itemization, because you're going to have infinite ult CD, you're going to have infinite QWE CD, and then you're going to have infinite damage with your Hubris infinitely stacking. So it's very nice, actually. It's a build that I've found nothing but success with, I've climbed on all my accounts with, and it just makes Red King feel so much better, because, yeah, you get more sustain based off the damage you deal. And then just the amount of uh, CDs that you get as well, it's very nice. All like the best cane stats you get, just an overwhelming amount. One of the good things that a person learning jump should focus on, apart from full clearing. Uh, try to rationalize what is worth your time and what isn't worth your time, I think. It takes a little while to really get used to it, but it's something I'd recommend getting into practice of. Like, okay, is this worth my time? And then just trying to like always evaluate your thoughts. Like, I think just being a very logical thinker helps out a good amount as well. Nice. Good. Able to kill the Warwick. So, yeah, that's another reason why 80 melee champs just absolutely destroy or get destroyed by Kane. Kane's kind of think of it like what you would have Ramus. He just destroys him. As long as AMIW dies. It's funny because if I built any other cane build, I'd never kill the Ezreal there. Also, never kill the Warwick there. The whole premise of building like other builds on cane is literally just for survival. But I, I don't really have to worry about it too much. Now we get Axiomark, and now my ulti is going to be up as much as my CDs are going to be up, and a lot of plays being made. Then we get Grudge third. It's going to be a really big damage spike. On top of what we already have, which is a lot of damage. Oh, on Blade, they stood seven months. Yellow. Welcome back. This is, I, like I'm telling you guys, this is just the best red cane build right now. This is what I've been doing every game. There's obviously a lot of different like build paths and a lot of different play styles. This is the best solo carry build I should mention as well. Really amazing for solo carrying. Yeah, that was just in case he wanted to ult in there, but he doesn't, so sweet. Good, good job, team. And now we can get the dragon. What's up, Divine Touch? What's up, Rocket Chip? Build is for red form only. No, it's same thing as blue as well. Blue would build the same, except I wouldn't get Shojin on blue. That's the only really, um, well, that's the pinch of lemon on my formula here, is the Shojin for red. Because I've tried out a lot of like fourth items after Grudge to see what feels best, and Shojin's just overwhelmingly the best. It's just amazing for red cane. The amount of damage and everything is just so lovely, so lovable. And yeah, we're gonna get our plated next reset. And then yeah, you guys will just see the like the massive spike with Shojin Grudge. Crazy. And after that, I get GA and last item, it's kind of just whatever the hell you want. Like I said, I can probably go Death Stance this game. Usually it's just like more damage or maybe a defensive item again. 
Ninja wouldn't be bad here as well, I think. I think a Torn Mail would be pretty cool. I'm gonna come up here if this works here, but I'm gonna be a little bit cautious. That blind W. Just waited for his E. I waited out. Now I ulti. Finish. And go the Karma. Nice. So you can already see, like, my build's going pretty bananas. Kill there, sweet. And now we can look for the uh, Rift Herald, maybe. See, now my ult's gotta be back up, so I can just fight Warwick again. If he runs here, spawns, and just runs right at me, I'm gonna kill him again. It is quite amazing. I I really hope that you guys enjoy this build and this playstyle. This is the most fun I've had with Red Kane in a long time, and I just want to share that with you guys. And I think we're gonna lose the objective here. Gosh dang it. Dude, my smite wasn't up. I was off by like two seconds. It's funny because I even have a stronger smite than him there too. Oh, I should have pinged my team to stick with me there. Okay. Counting my chickens before they hatch. We gotta lock it in, boys. Definitely worth getting plated right now, though. Get plated and then, uh, freaking grudge. The idea of having infinite damage and infinite abilities is really fun to play with, though. Alright. They just ping him out. Probably go for the scuttle if my team wants to move here. Oh, wait, no, he's looking for the plan mid. I gotta go uh, defend this. He's just gonna run away. That's fine. It would have been really nice to use that rift in mid lane to open up that power. It really opens up the map for us. Same runes for both forms. Yep. Exactly. A lot of my most recent YouTube content has been dedicated to Lethali Red, by the way, and you know the flexibility between both. So, if you haven't checked out my YouTube and you have more questions about this itemization and playstyle, then I definitely recommend checking it out. So plug, but you know. It's for a notable cause. You guys to climb and climb and high low. Nice. Don't need to dive too hard. We can just chill. I gotta get out. Play life. But I'll call this. I didn't get the ult off. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose that 1k for free, right? It's a good control word, right? Uh, okay. I'm gonna save up to buy a brutalizer here. So I'm farm one camp and then I'll go fight the dragon. I might hold up for this fight, so we can just fight this whole 5v5. Hello, Soul Rose. I don't need to build armor at this point of the game? No, because the thing is that I don't need to build to survive if my damage is what's keeping me alive. Because the whole concept and understanding behind Lethali Red is that you're able to murder and just absolutely decimate HP bars. And also, you're able to return all that damage that you deal back to yourself because you heal based off your damage dealt. Which just makes you really tanky. That's kind of the whole uh, concept behind Lethali Rost. And also the max HP damage scaling, so that on top of the Lethali and Armor Pen, it's just it's just insane. The synergy is just absolutely insane. It's something I recommend you guys get to abuse in. I might die here because we don't have Echo. I have to give this. Should be fine. I got a big heal here. Nice. Full heal. Okay. Huge. Kills back. Got the 
tower. Got a lot done there. And my ult's come back up. So you see why Axie Mark is so nice? Because look, I almost have my ult back up again. Yeah, they might try. I, I don't think they're going to do the Baron. I think they're just going to get my top side camps. Pretty smart by them, I'd say. I check it, but I don't, I don't think they're on it. Honestly. It could have been. Oh, that's bad. That's all good. Got my grudge. Time to start going for Shojin. Oh, good job, Kragus. Ah, they didn't get him, though. Kind of sad. Wait, what? Oh, actually, uh, Lucian actually just died like that. I think they are going to get the Baron. It's the sad thing. They just have to fight with me and we could win. Wow. That damage. Jesus. It's tough. Slice right through him like butter. Butter him up. Gonna get killed by Trindir. Not really worth for me to look on a Trindir without my ulti, because he could actually maybe kill me. Especially with Lucian being MIA as well. Yeah, no thanks. We just have to stall with their Baron. There's not really a reason for us to like overforce. They want to overforce. They definitely should wait to do it with me at least. Like just a uh, smart idea, I'd say. Almost 16 here, so that will be good. Along with getting my my Shojin. My Shojin's gonna be what is it, 23? 700 gold off? We get a kill there. Oh, that's tough. We're losing so much of our base for free here. I don't want to look to hard force. I can catch top here and shove out the wave. I could actually match the Trinomir really well. I know he's a bit of a problemo for my team right now, but be fine. Ah, uh, look how much he sustains off this camps. Nice. Big shot down there. I'm sure didn't. Okay, now we can look to like maybe force a fight on them. I'm coming, boys! Have my ult up soon. Yeah, now is when we have like just pure infinite CDs. But see how hard I just counter every 80 melee champ of the game? It's, it's pretty much every single one except for like Poppy. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Nice. That's a flash. Should be killed. Nice. Huge. As long as I don't get like hard CC'd, we should be fine to win this. It's really the um the CC that's screwing me. But once I get GA, we'll be fine. We'll just hit the tower, I think. Uh, get look for the kill here too. That works. Nice. 
Yes, got him. I'd use my flash there, but give it no other option. I'll just come back up here soon. The tower, get the drag. Should be good. Yeah, but you guys see how OP the damage is, and it also makes me just very tanky, and it also is just... Uh, everything about it is just amazing. It's just 10 out of 10. This is actually just the best build. Is it better than Conquer? Oh yeah, by far. Because look at how fast I'm killing people. Conquer doesn't really do much. I've tested out Conquer. I've tested out pretty much every rune choice, every build choice. This is lots of lots, lots of testing in the highest elos as well. I have only been playing in high elo with these itemization choices and everything. And I've been doing insanely well. Alright, I get BF Sword. Oh wait, I forget. Oh, I forget. Six item is... Hmm, I'm trolling. I was going to say my my six item being death stance, but I forgot that I, this is my six item. It's G8. I need Camille to look with me here. Nice. I kill him without having to use my ult and then I just do whatever else. You go on blue. Pretty much the same build except showed. Oh, it's fourth? Um, I don't know, another Lethali option. Maybe like opportunity. Edge of Night. I actually found that fourth item Lethali isn't that required. On oh, no, a red. Shoja just infinitely better in my opinion. Okay. Not bad. Okay, cool, got an extra tower there. For the dragon. Or the bear I mean. That's a good call. That's a really good call. Uh actually no 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 I don't like how low they both are. They're both very low. Yeah, I had to call off that. Looking at both their HP, they're both gonna get one tap. Someone's gonna walk up and just one tap them both. I don't know one was around, but yet they assume the worst in this situation. Yeah, we're gonna get GA right now. All right, sweet. All righty. And here's the full build. That's what it looks like. So now we can look to do Baron. Kill Trin first. Especially if he's gonna yunk my blue here. Nice. Okay, now we just immediately rush the Baron. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, you would not believe the amount of like sustain and healing I have right now. My percent HP damage is just. Absolutely wild. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. This echo is either wind trading or boosted. This is like a GM lobby, but honestly, he does appear to be having a bad game, but I don't really want to blame him. I mean, sometimes you have bad games, but he has not pressed his ult a lot in fights. It's 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 kind of hard to tell if he's actually fully charging or not, but I don't really mind because I don't really play to get carried. I play to carry, so as long as my teammates are willing to get carried, and it seems like he's like trying to make plays, it's just... It, it, it feels like he's playing more careless, which isn't necessarily win trading or boosted. It's just like, I, I think he assumes it's a free win, so he just doesn't care. Maybe he's, or maybe he assumed it was a free loss and didn't care either or. I just think it's, it's fine. I don't really mind it, to be honest. Someone can match top. Yeah, I need Gragas to match, because if Echo match, he's going to die and we're going to lose game off that. Get the tower. Oh, 
Oh my damage, one WQ. Absolutely one shots, dude. I saved my GA. My flash there. I can take this. Job. I like that Tristan just auto in that tower. Really. Brilliant. Oh, good job, Tris. Way to get in there. Way to get in there. Ah, there you go. Nice. Well, I hope you boys enjoyed a bit of a 20 bomb. Wow, this game went amazing. <laughs> GG's. Hope you enjoyed the, the video. Make sure to drop a like and a sub. Share with all your Red Cane friends. Adios.